thank you for joining me today. Today, um, I'm going to I'm recreating the video tutorial on the GIMP splash screen because uh, last time I made a few errors, not nothing major that would throw anything off, but I just want to redo it and make it a little better. So, if you if you have GIMP, which I'll provide the link to GIMP in the downloads uh, the description box. If you were to open up GIMP, you'd see this, the regular GIMP splash screen. A lot of people want to know how to edit, modify, change this. Um, so this is what this video is going to help with. Um, now the cool thing about GIMP is it actually allows you to edit um, splash screen. A lot of programs don't allow that, like Adobe. Most of them block their own splash screen so you can't edit it. Even LimeWire blocks their own splash screen. GIMP still allows it. Now as long as you keep it the same size, it's fine. I haven't tried making it a different size, that could be a different video or maybe a, that could be a little message that appears on the screen when I figure that out but I haven't tried that yet. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to File, Open, then you need to navigate to your C drive or wherever you installed GIMP, most likely the C drive, Program Files, go down to GIMP, uh, assuming you have the latest version it should be GIMP 2.0, Share, GIMP. 2.0 images gimp splash.png open it and you should see what you normally see now what you first 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 thing you want to do is you want to do file save as and put it in your regular old pictures because if you don't and something gets screwed up boom you're done your toast you know so you want to save it as in there once you do that close the image Go File, Open, Navigate back to your C drive or installation place, Program Files, the GIMP 2.0 folder, Share, GIMP 2.0, um, Images, and the GIMP splash.png. This way you have a backup copy in case you screw something up. Okay, so basically now that you have your image open, what you want to do is you want to edit it any way you want to really. I mean you could change the background, you could change the fonts, you could just wipe out the entire image and start over. Again, I have not tested what would happen if you change the size. Um, so I don't really know at this point what would happen. Um, so just edit your picture, um, pause the video, and come back. Okay, during the break I did a little research and as you can see real quick behind me, it, you can make the image any size you want as long as it fits on your computer screen. So it doesn't look like it has to stay that size, although I personally like it when it's usually a box or a rectangle. So that's really, uh, you know, what you want to do. Okay, so assuming you've done your image already, I'm just going to pull up mine. To show you, so assuming you've edited your image, you want to uh, pull it up. Here it is. This is mine. I like this one a little bit better uh, than stretching it out. I like the rectangle shape. Um, what you want to do is you want to, assuming you're still editing the one that's in the program files folder, you want to save as, navigate to the installation, which is usually C. Again, go down to GIMP 2.0, share, GIMP 2.0, images, GIMP splash, save, replace it, just keep saving, okay, then you can exit out the program, and if you reopen it, you will see that you have the new splash screen there. I think this looks really cool. So, there you go, that's how you make your own GIMP splash screen. Or, if you find one online, that's how you can install it. So, that's how you do it. Just, again, make sure you you backed it up in your pictures folder or some other folder, the original. Otherwise, if you don't like it, you can never go back. So, there you have it. Thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, subscribe.